Hi, this is Aris Klaasson and I am out traveling, so I'm very sorry about the poor audio quality. I am traveling and I'm currently recording the audio in China at Shanghai Airport. The video was actually made on the airplane between Frankfurt and Shanghai. And this is me on the airplane. How exciting! Saying hello, hello. Anyway, what we're going to do in this very short video is go ahead and create a console application. That console application is going to go or grab a NuGet package called EdgeJS, which will allow us to use Node inside .NET application. And the syntax is quite similar as the previous video you saw where we did the other way around. After we've done that, we're basically ready to kick some ninjas. This is the console application. I'm not going to show you how to create one because I assume you know how to make one. And this is the package that we want to install, EdgeJS. So I'm just going to just copy it here so I can paste it in later. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the NuGet Package Manager console. I prefer to use that. It's actually a PowerShell window, so it's wrapped in PowerShell. So what we're calling now this install package is actually a PowerShell commandlet. And uh, my, my connection and uh, my connectivity here to the internet is uh, not the best because the flight is just about to uh, take off. So there we go. We have installed the package. The next thing I'm going to do is define the function that we want to call in JavaScript. So I'm going to use a constant here for that just to keep it really, really simple. I assume you would like to put this somewhere else. As you can see, the function isn't quite complete, but we're going to take a look at that a little bit later. Then I'm going to create an asynchronous method that we can call from our main entry point. And we're going to call it call node function. And um, this one will, 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 will let it accept one parameter, which is going to be a greeting. So as you can probably understand, we're going for the standard hello world, but it'll do for first example. Then we're going to go ahead and uh, actually use edge. So edge.func is a syntax. And then as a parameter, we can pass in the function that we want to call, and not the function, the JavaScript that we want to use, which was the one that we declared earlier. So I'm going to pass in the JS function constant. And after we have done that, we can actually output to the console. So we're going to do a console write line, if I can find it. <laughs> And after we've done that, we're, we need to, oh wait, sorry, we need to await the, the function. Sorry, not the function, but the variable we declared with a really horrible name. And there we can actually pass in the greeting, which is being passed into the method. And nothing's going to happen yet because we're not even calling the method. So we're going to do a couple of console write lines. I'm just going to change the color a little bit so we get more of a contrast when I run the console. So let's set it to yellow. We're just going to call uh, call node function, wait, and inside it we're going to pass in what we want it to say. Um, what do we want it to say? Let's have a look here. Well, as you can see, the function isn't really complete, so um, let's go ahead and do a... Let's just pass in here from .NET and scroll back up. And inside here, we're just going to go ahead and... Oh, some crazy things happening here. We're going to just write, we are calling node from, and then plus the parameter data, which is being passed into the function, which is the greeting that we are passing in. And that's it. A little thing missing, of course, the console reads, so the console application doesn't close straight down again after we run it. But this is it. Yeah, so this is it. This is a very simple hello world. And that's all you need to do, basically, to do that. Doesn't really do much, does it? But anyway, let's run it. And, oh, horrible color. I set the background instead. And let me change that to a foreground color instead, which was what I meant to use. And if I run the console now, you can see we're calling node from .NET. Woohoo. And I have from from twice anyways. But woohoo. Wasn't this cool? Wasn't this fun? More exciting examples coming up soon.